it's nice as fuck up here. Hey, where we at? Hey, yo, what it do? It's the casino, and you're not tuned in to Cloud Nine Radio. The audience. What's up, y'all? This your girl, Audie, again. Back at it again on Cloud9 Radio. And we're hanging out today with Casino. What's going on? What's going on? All right, Casino. Tell listeners today, like, you know, where you're from. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm uh, born and raised in Brookhaven, Mississippi, man. Uh, you know, ain't nothing like it. And you went to your school? Yeah, I went to, uh, I attended every, uh, school there in Brookhaven, man. I uh, graduated, you know, from Brookhaven High, you know. Shout out to Panthers. Shout out to the Panthers. Let's and go. did you, like, play any sports and when you, uh, attended Brookhaven? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I got plenty of years on the basketball team, uh, starting point guard, uh, had a little bit of football in, uh, junior high. I don't know if people still count. Junior high sports and not, but they... Type of shit. So, did I, did, when you were playing sports, did they compare you to anybody? Oh, yeah. I, I was compared to, uh, uh, I got a lot of, you know, Allen Iverson uh, comparisons because I was, you know, of course, short. I had braids. I rocked the headband in every game and, you know, the, the crossover here and there. So, yeah, it was, it was dope, man, compared to one of my idols like that. Okay, cool. I love that. That's awesome. And to be compared to Iverson, you one of the colonists, period. So, <laughs> so um, like, if you had to tell your younger self anything, what would it be? Um, younger me, I like to to stay focused, man, and uh, take it take it more serious. Like I said, because a lot of stuff I was too much serious about, like uh. I stay basketball for for that reference. Like a lot of the times, like I ain't really want to play hard, and then like and somebody made me mad and I, or something like that. I I really wanted to be on the tech mode then, but like I said, I I just feel like I should have handled it better, you know, than what I did. Type of shit. That's really good advice, and hope we're hoping that someone in the younger generation could hear that advice and oh, yes, for sure. you know take that and apply to day-to-day life because you do have to have that self-motivation like that motivation for you you know so i do feel you on that recently you took some you know self-care time but now that you're back you know from that where is the music going to take us um like coming off that break like i I had to get my my mental right you know with all these losses i took so like like the music, I feel like it's gonna be like a, a refreshing, you know, my 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 breath of fresh air. You know what I'm saying? I get to talk about it. You know, I can talk about it. I'm in a state where I can talk about everything that I went through, and I wanna um, kind of give everybody an insight on you know what's really been going on, and you know basically where I'm at now. So it's gonna be dope. Dope, dope shit. We ready for you to cook that shit up? You know, put that wrist work in. And get us that peg out here on these streets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Period. Period. So, guys, we're going to roll up and roll into a short break. And, you know, while we're we're in the break, I guess we'll introduce the the first song of the evening. And that'll be Different by Casino. This is Audie. Tune in after the break on Cloud9 Radio. Are y'all tired of those multiple trips to the boulevard? Or you have an event, but no time to prepare the food yourself? Then Mina's Grub Stop is a stop for you. Our services include private chef bookings, catering and meal packages. Check us out on social media to view our menu and serving dates. Message us for all booking inquiries or meal prep services and catering. Come get your grub on where we serve with love. Contact us at Mina's Grub Stop on all social media platforms. On the court, they on the sideline, clap it, put that ass. 
back and I am not the one in front on Killing every motherfucking feature that I'm put on You get in the way, I need your neck to put my foot on Like I'm getting dressed in the mirror, watch me put on Yeah, yeah, I ain't gotta put on like the baddest around Time flying by, I'm trying to flag that shit down Got another son on the way, your daddy is proud If they play with you and King, then the marriage shit out Quick compare with me, know these rappers scared of me now Might take the elevator out it's your girl Adi again, back at it again, back from break with Casino on Cloud Nine Radio. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Period. So, I want to ask you, Casino, like, tell me what's your target audience? Oh, uh, I I used to have one. Like, I don't even have one now. You know, uh, I I just feel like my music. You know, the, the the people that I was reaching at first, it was like kind of gravitating to me because of the, the pain in it. Mm -hmm. Like now I just like anybody that's like kind of been through a hard time or, you know, experiencing some real life, you know, issues or shit they're going through right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, that's my target artist. Like the real, I, I do it for the real, man. Like the, the real people. Definitely. Like ride waves. Cause you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I ain't sure. trying to be in the middle of the club. Goddamn. Playing a fucking little song. I'm trying to be in the club for hell. <laughs> but now, okay, like with okay with the Ty Guardian. So you represent for the real, and with that, how are you? How are you gonna apply that to the new projects and what we what sh we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, it just uh most definitely like kind of like what I spoke on earlier. Like mm -hmm. uh basically just like real life situations like like. What I'm, what I'm gonna be talking about, like everybody that experienced some kind of trauma or some kind of heartache, or you know, death, or you know, maybe losing a job or being broke or being down, and right. you know, not knowing where you gonna, you know, find your next meal or you know, whatever from, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, I'm, I'm there with it. I want to talk about that. So like, it's gonna be a lot of real life stuff going on, a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff I ain't really spoke on in the, in the past, and right. you know kind of how I got over it and kind of how I'm dealing with it right now at this, at this current day. Right. Okay. That's I could definitely respect that because we all need some of that. We definitely have to acknowledge that we have the pain, right. deal with it, and then move on because at the end of that phoenix phase, you know, the crash, the burn, the rebirth part, yeah. you know, we trying to be you know, like you said on the coldest one they ever do, we're trying to be America's most wanted, period. That's a fact. Period. So, I want to go back a little bit. I want yeah, you to walk us through your first project, you know, the title of it, and how you've changed since then. Yeah, okay, yeah. The first, my first solo project, I would say, uh, taking out bits. Like, uh, man, uh, you wasn't even supposed to be what it was, it was like a mixtape. A lot of the tracks I wasn't even taking serious. You know, I, um, I grew up on Wayne, so um, I'm, I'm like jacking for beats at that point. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was just all fun and, you know, punchlines and metaphors and all that. So mm -hmm. even even doing all that, it was like fun for me. I never took it serious. So to the point now, I feel like everybody's aware of my sound, they're aware of my lyricism, they, they're aware of, you know, what kind of artist I am. But like I said, I, I still feel like nobody's seen the best of me because right. I, at no point I was like really serious with it, you know what I'm saying? So I can sit down and write and focus. I've had time to rethink stuff and go through stuff, go through more stuff. And now, like I said, I feel like I'm finally complete, so. It's, it's going to be real, real special. This, this, this go around for me. 777, seven, seven, the number of completion, period. All right. All right. So, speaking of Wayne, are you a Wayne or a writer? Or uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> uh, like, I, my, I go through my process is kind of kind of a little bit of both. Uh, I'm saying this because, like, I, I be all day, like, I'm hearing lines in my head. Like, I'm rapping all day. I really can't focus on a lot of stuff because I'm hearing music and stuff in my head. So I'm rapping, rapping, rapping in my head until it gets to the point like, all right, I'm not going to remember all this stuff. So let me write it down so when I get back to it, I can just put it on something. So that's pretty much how I approach every song now. Okay. 
bro, because I swear to God, if you if if a motherfucker had a little something Bluetooth, some on side of their head, we could catch that cold, cold shit. You know, we be seeing yeah. it before we forget real fast. <laughs> yeah, that's that. I had to stop there because like I, I'm rapping like in my head, so I'm like, bro, like if I don't write this down, I'm gonna forget it, and like you know what I'm saying. Not saying I won't come up with nothing else, but I like the how this you know was signed in my head. So let me write it down. Okay. And Wayne fan, punch metaphors. What's your favorite Wayne project? Uh, gotta be for me. Gotta be the Carter. The Carter. Yeah, yeah gotta be the Carter. For which me. one of those song? Which one of those was projects? Of the song when he was talking about? Oh yeah, up in the studio, me and my drink. I, that's my favorite song. Period. That, that, oh yeah. Man, I, I don't even remember what's. But, but I know, I don't remember which on. one, but I know that man wigged out on that, on that song. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he a different type of, type of That's when he first started artist, getting bro. into his singing and humming and, you know, trying to find his little piece of voice. You know, he ain't got yeah, nothing yeah, but a yeah. piece, but we <laughs> like it. I like it. So, okay, guys, we're finna roll up and roll into another break. And while we're gone, we're gonna play... America's most wony. I, w- I just want to let y'all slide without hearing that one. So, okay. <laughs> Casino, America's most wanted. This is Audie on Cloud Nine Radio. Yo, this is the Cooking Man, and you're tuning in to Cloud Nine Radio. And you've been called by the Cookie Trap. Trap, trap. Shadows of a man, so she know how to go run up them bands. She don't really need a helping hand. Nine times out of ten, baby, bad as hell with her friends. All guess saying she don't need a hair done, don't need a nail fix. She do it on her own, deadly baby, selfish. She got her own money, so it's fuck a nigga for show. She the baddest in the city, and you already know. Lockdown, baby, finally out the door. Yelling money ain't a thing, she just go and get some more. She ain't hurting for a thing, and you already know. Now coming back to that. Audie back with Casino on Cloud Nine Radio. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share to my channel, to Spotify, and to my YouTube. Um, both of the names are the same thing. So, recently, Casino, Bow Wow made a comment about hip hop you know at the recent BT awards you know he spoke about okay. why he thinks hip hop hasn't landed number 1 album or single in 2023 right. he attributed it to a decline in quality so we're going to pause and I'm going to play a short clip about okay. what was said so Charted at all this year for hip hop and anything. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? Putting out trash ass music. No, not the trash music. It's serious. Everything sound alike. Everything repetitive. Same tempo. It's just it's roll out the bed. Everybody can do that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. And I I feel like now we getting and the reason and, and now we finally getting to a point where I feel like now it's about to shift back into the real. Like, you really got to have talent. You really got to go. I think people are starting to get tired of it now. That's why you don't see nothing charting. Everything sound the same. Every girl want to get a bag, get a rich uh, spin the block. I'm sliding on the eye. Everything is sound the same. Ain't nobody doing nothing different. So it's time to shake the game up and get it back to what it need to get back to. And that's just the real essence of artistry and real good music. Like, that's going to last forever. Like, is there anybody that I don't know. I, I, ain't heard, I ain't heard nothing that I say, I'm going to hear this. 30 years from now. Wow. Nothing. There's nobody. I mean, Drake, Kendrick, and 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 I would say Cole. Other than that. Okay, so we're back from the clip. Um, Thanks to HipHopDX.com for the audio clip insert or whatever. You know, people, they props. So, Casino, what's your opinion about his comment? And what do you think hip-hop, hip-hop can do? to change this or do you think they're just not looking hard enough for their new talent 
for me, man, like I said, uh, it's, yeah, I, I kind of agree with what he's saying. Like I said, a lot of you hear the same song, you know what I'm saying? Like, the artists kind of, like, it's like they more in tune with going viral, you know what I'm saying, than trying to make a, a good song. So like I said, and I do feel like they not, you know, looking into, you know, new artists, like I said, and they also kind of plays in the part, like, most artists are not going as, as hard as they should be, you know what I'm saying? But like, I, I agree with it. You know what I'm saying? Everything sound the same. So, did you get a chance to watch the BET Awards this year? Nah, like I said, I really, honestly, I haven't watched it, like, in so long. Like, it's been years. Like, I haven't watched it. Like, I don't really get into it. Like, I haven't really watched it. So, I don't really get into it. Like, 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 I do Last time I can just like really remember is uh shoot I think Wayne did the little uh the little performance to for uh what was it man I don't even know it's been a minute like, right. I'm gonna be honest like I don't get into I don't get into it because I feel like you know well Tyler Perry he bought he bought it and right. um a lot of they had a lot of memes circulating on the internet. They were really, really funny. One was, um, it just like Tyler Perry just opened the keys and said, Y'all lock up when y'all done. I mean, it was really, really funny, but I am very, very proud of Tyler Perry and all the hype that he has reached coming from his, you know, beginnings. Cause, you know, hey, that man's striving for greatness and he's getting it. So, Right. Shout out to you, Tyler Perry, period. Give me one of them wigs. Let me get on one of the movies, period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This... I'll do the movie without the wigs. Yeah, nah, uh-uh. We're going to have to put you one of them lit, them lit uh, Shamar Bray wigs on. Man, you look like you, get, look like you a thug. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, <laughs> all right, this is segment three of the show today before we close. And before we close, we're going to play a short game, you know, sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're different, but hey, we're gonna play a game, so. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna play Hood Jeopardy. Okay. Hood me, insert sounds below, but okay. The first Hood Jeopardy question is things that could get you popped at Grandma's house. Oh, what is uh, what is leaving the door open? What is what is uh, what is going in and out the house? <laughs> <laughs> Period. Okay, we got probably going out there refrigerator too, but now we we gonna yeah, leave, we gonna leave sure. grandma refrigerator alone because she don't play. All right, question Jeopardy question number two. So we're gonna be like, um, what does it mean when you drop the bunch? I mean, I know it's more than one meaning. At least give me two. Man, I, I, I can't. I don't know the other one. I, I, it's the main one. <laughs> like, what, what is my old lady got going on right now? Oh, <laughs> okay. we got to watch that. Y'all better keep them nails gripping that blood, baby. That's, that's the main, that's the most important one. <laughs> okay. So, you got four questions. So, we're on question number three. Things to not bring to the cookout uh what is the uh what is the lit what's the lit cheap drink that be complaining about dr thunder and all it what, what screaming what is shasta i'm hollering i love shasta <laughs> <laughs> okay so in question number four things that black girls love now you got to give me at least four answers on this one Bang. So what is uh what is definitely what is seafood uh what is what is what is weeds period what what hey what is styles by Neil man shout out to this period <laughs> okay uh so what it what is uh what is brunch you know they they on the brunch hard Ooh, these days you know okay you trying to hit a beach where it hurt yeah hey, you know I'm, <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta keep it real for the real, man. Period. Okay. 
Guys, shout out to Nia though, because baby, what is a 360 frontal install? Buzz down. Yeah, okay, pull up on this suit. But y'all better pull up on this suit. Overbook her now, okay? So, guys, this has been fun. This has been great here with Casino today on Cloud Nine Motherfucking Radio today. We played a couple of games. You guys, make sure you hit them comments below. And answer some of them hood Jeopardy questions. You know, I know Wild and Out then pretty much got them all, but we still, that shit's still funny. Hit my box. Yeah, hit my box below and hit me with some of them uh, hood Jeopardy answers. Okay. Okay, we're about to roll up and roll the fuck up out of here. But before we do... We're going to play Toxic by Casino. And I, I need y'all to get into that and go strain that motherfucker real heavy. And right, run it up, run it up. Run it up, run it up. Okay. So, Casino, tell these people where they at. Man, we at Cloud 9 Radio. What the fuck you think we at? What, see, what the fuck y'all think we at? You think we do this shit for fun? All right, y'all. This is Artie. I'm out. Y'all like, share, subscribe. Right. Toxic by Casino. Period. Uh, yeah. I've been dealing with this shit for a long time, you know. You know. We start out good. Move on. End up right back here. We done been off and on and still can't stop it See you with your man and text your phone Girl, we just too toxic Where you at, Bo? Party, that's too hard Said I might have lost my spot You need somebody who gon' match your fly Well, you got dreams and I got cheese So how am I not your guy? Got all these plans and just can't leave I dust my pants and fix my sleeves Cause I gotta look good and fix my shot No pressure, I'm going for the three Gave her the game off top, too smooth She'll never get played by doom Nigga don't play, you'll lose First rule is, it ain't no rules Let that baby rock my juice Way before I had got tattoos How we got all this history And we ain't even talking school I ain't never been basic, took her to the head, no chaser Left my mark, no eraser I done been all around the world with girls But damn, it's hard to replace you Can't nobody take my spot, too hot And we ain't even trying to cool off Cause without you, it ain't no me Your new nigga way too soft I don't want anybody else Cause I don't Off and on and still can't stop it See you with your man and text your phone Girl, we just too toxic I don't want anybody else Whenever you call, I'm coming Whenever you text, I'm there You said it's hard for you to move on with somebody else Told me I got a hold on you And that just ain't fair But everything you try without me It just ain't as real These niggas just ain't your speed Leave them, they can't compete And every time they piss you off You always think of me Told you I'm coming home, baby I still got the key You said don't make me take you from your girl Don't play with me I like that shit, no capping I'm thinking about making it happen I'm thinking about making that trip to see You need you like an addict can't nobody take my spot, too hot And we ain't even try to cool off Cause without you, it ain't no me Your new nigga way too soft I don't want anybody else Anybody else but you I don't want anybody else Anybody else We done been off and on and still can't stop it See you with your man and text your phone Girl, we just too toxic Oh yeah I don't want